Okay. <laughs> well, we got this contraption hooked to the hose. And the valve does hold the water back. Right now the hose is on. It's not leaking. It's not leaking anywhere here. It's not leaking anywhere here. But it sprays a pretty good strain. Okay, let's see. It sprays a pretty good strain. But the problem is it's got two holes right here to relieve pressure when you're blowing air through there I guess so that you can't blow with so much pressure through and it leaks water right there and it leaks water around this valve right here um, that may be able to be you know I may be able to go in there and and rebuild this thing in here or I may be able to buy a better one of these and it not leak I don't know what well, that remains to be seen but let's let's go ahead and turn it on you can see the leak okay so as you can see it's leaking you know out of these holes right here it's it's leaking right around the valve which is this right here is what's actually leaking that, that valve so you know if i take out a part i might be able to machine a better one or i may be able to buy a better one that doesn't leak i don't know but um those are the two places it's leaking here and here now um I don't know if uh, I'm going to unscrew it right now. Yeah, got the got this end off. And uh, let's see. I'll try to pull the plaque out of the face. All right. I don't know if this unscrews off of here. And then we can screw directly into here. That may be two different, two different size threads. Yep, two different size threads. So that ain't gonna work. Okay. So um, the only thing to do is somehow or another try to block off these these holes in there. Not real sure how to do that, but as you can see, it's got a hole all the way through it right there, and that's the relief of pressure out of it. Now, maybe I'll chuck this up in a lathe and and uh, cut some, cut the threads down a little further or something, or machine these holes away where they're gone and the holes aren't even there anymore, and get this to screw down in there a little further, and that may cure the problem. Or, you know what? Teflon tape. I bet if I put some Teflon tape on these threads and then screw it down in there, I bet that'll cure it. Let's give that a shot. I mean, you know, this is, uh, this is the fun part about, uh, you know, building and creating stuff is, is you get to experiment and, um, let's say, you know, we're doing that, I was doing this, right? So we're going to put the tape right on the end of the rod right here and uh, I just kind of tape that take them threads up and that's the fun part about doing these types of experiments is you get to try different things and, and just kind of see what works you know uh, I might need a little bit more tape than that that went in there kind of loose kind of loose. Uh, let's see. Right, let's try it. Well, I, I tell you, it cut it back. It cut the leak down a lot. You know, a little bit more tape. A little more tape might do it. I can, if I can get that part of it to stop leaking and um, and then try to fix the other leak that we got and, and get that fixed I'll wrap a little bit more tape through there 
and uh, get kind of heavy with this tape and screw it on there. Uh, let's see. Not nah, still leaking. Yeah, I need it to go down in there just a little bit further, so may chug it up in the lathe and chug it up in the lathe and turn it a little bit. See if I can get this rod to screw down in here just a little bit further. If I can, you know, this looks like it's going to be the easiest leak to fix. E easier than the other leak anyway, so if I can figure out a way to get this leak fixed first, and then I'll uh, try to uh, address the other leak. I'll chuck this thing up in the lathe and see if I can, see if I can turn a little bit off of it. This piece, what I'm thinking, I'll just kind of show you all what I'm thinking here. Okay. This piece right here that threads up into this piece. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but there's a shoulder. There's a shoulder right here. Right here on this edge, there's a shoulder that when you thread this on here, it this butts against that shoulder. So it only goes just a very little bit past, well, it does go past them holes. But it only goes a little bit past them holes. If I could get it to go a little further past them holes, that might would uh, get it to stop leaking. And if that don't work, I don't know. The threads go right on by that hole, so that might not, that might not work. Mm -hmm. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. We got nothing to lose. I think this thing was, I don't know, just a few bucks. I don't remember how much it was, but it wasn't very much. I mean, it was a Harbor Freight, okay? <laughs> it's, it's pretty much junk anyway, so, you know, we, we certainly can't hurt it. All we can do is improve it, right, or throw it in the trash, one or the other. So, I'm going to chug it up in the lathe and turn it and see what happens. Okay, so, I, I turned that piece down just a little bit on in the lathe, and I, I, I don't know that that really so much did any good as the fact that I put a boatload of tape on there. It still leaks. But nowhere near as bad. That's what it's, uh, well, <laughs> I say, it don't leak as bad here. It still leaks at the other place. But I put a boatload of tape on it, and it's not leaking nowhere near as bad right there. But uh, it's still leaking there, just not as bad. This right here is leaking like a screen door <laughs> at this valve. It's leaking like a screen door. Um, that's a shame. But uh, you know, I might be able to, you know, get something and put a put an O-ring or two in there and get that to stop. But it, this thing shoots right far. I mean, look at that. You know, this thing shoots right far. I'm gonna shoot all the way over to the truck. So if we can use us. And, you know, clean a radiator out or something, and I may do away. I'm thinking that this bend is too much to get in between the fan blade and the radiator and shoot it back the other way. So what I may end up doing is doing away with this part of it and then actually cutting this thing off right here and then flattening in down just a little bit. When this sitting on there, it doesn't blow as hard you know or as far but it gets a nice stream of water 
and um, actually removing that actually helps to slow down the leak on the other end. The other end doesn't quite leak as bad. It still leaks, though. I mean, you can see it, see it dripping. Uh, you can still see it dripping pretty good out of there. And basically, the majority of that is coming out of this, this valve. Um, without this on it, it actually doesn't leak hardly at all around this part. Don't see it leaking at all right there. But around the valve right here, definitely leaking. I may pull the valve out, look in there, and see what's in there. All right, let's um, let's pull this valve out and see if it flies apart. Oh wow, that thing's pretty loose. Pretty loose in there. <laughs> See, that part came out. That part came out. So, um, hmm. so basically looking at this thing. There's an O-ring. You got this O-ring right here. Okay. And look down in there. Looks like a spring or something in there. But I'm, I'm almost thinking that the key to this thing leaking is actually this O-ring right here. And you know, it's it's all the way down on this part of it, and and this uh, this shaft is is almost feels like it's two different sizes. It may not be. It may be my imagination, but it appears that this O-ring should be instead of being on this shaft. I'm mean, of course it's going to be on this shaft, but I think first it needs to be pushed down into this housing all the way back to this end, and I think that would help it to seal better. So. Um, I need to get something to try to push that down in there where it needs to be at, and that may help it uh, from leaking. Anyway, I, I'm gonna do that. I'm not sure if it's showing up on the on the video or not, but basically, let's see. That doesn't fit in there, so, oop, of course I dropped a piece. I knew that was going to happen, right? See, that thing doesn't fit in there very tight, doesn't fit in that bottom very tight at all. Of course, I knew I was going to drop a piece and lose it. I have to go get my bonnet glasses to find it. I'll be right back. 